All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of quick and important information being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashom Yahweh Shai. This article was uploaded from blacklistednews.com, as you see up there. And um, I wanted to do a video on how they are purposely sabotaging our food supply right now they're going to say it's an accident right but there's no such thing as accidents okay that the, the heavenly father and his son ultimately is in control on the left hand side at the end of the day but that still don't change the fact that the so-called elites is um paying these people or hiring agents to basically burn down these various food factories and, and, and you know this has really been going on since what um three years ago okay three years ago this has been going on you know where where um, the so-called elites have been using the government, the U.S. government, to uh, and, and and not not just the government here in America, but the government in these different countries to 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 send out agents to burn down these various food factories and sabotage the the food supply. But while they're doing that, right? You know, we got. Bill Gates over here that is um you no know, buying up these these um various farmlands and taking control of it because ultimately they want control of all the food supply so when there's a famine the 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 only way you can get food from 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 their government is if you take the uh CHIP which is the MOTB. So the sabotage, the sabotaging of these various uh, um, food factories. It's all, it's all to benefit the so-called elites NWO, which is really to get everybody C H I P P E D. They want control of the food supply so they can have the ability to ration out food to those who take the CHIP. That's what it's really boiling down to. Okay. I mean, bro, 18,000 cows killed in explosion. <laughs> man. 18,000, man. But this is what happens when the wicked is in rulership. You see? Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. Okay, Proverbs 29 verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And, and it's not just the people that are in mourning. It's the animals, the insects, the marine life. You know, here it is. Cows can't even be cows. Insects can't even be insects. Animals cannot do their proper functions because you got these these wicked people in rulership 
literally just putting them through hell, man. Getting blown up, torturing animals before they kill them. You know that the animals are suffering. And that's why we need Yahawashad to return. Um, let's go here to uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Okay. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that, if you're a hopeful member of the elect, this is what you're looking for. You know, new heavens and a new earth, the kingdom of heaven. Where, 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 where animals can live in peace. They, they do not have to worry about explosions. You know, the marine life, the, the, the creatures in the oceans and lakes don't have to worry about harmful metals. They don't have to worry about harmful metals, uh, 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 nuclear radiation. The birds don't have to worry about chemtrails in the air. The, these different various 5G towers dying, dying from the, the mass radiation coming from them. You know, even these uh, heathen nations, after they served their uh, 1,000 years of captivity, you know, you know, and, and, and the Edomites are um, exterminated from off the planet. The rest of these heathen nations, even they're going to be living good. You know, they're not going to—they're not going to have to worry about a, a drone, you know, flying over their city and shoot, shooting missiles on them. Okay. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom. It's on to the next one.